This is Adam Owens. I'm a field agronomist for Pioneer and one of the things that we provide for our customers is uh, drone stand counts and a planning report card. And one of the things that we really get a lot of good feedback on uh, throughout the year is uh, doing these stand counts. And it's really important to understand how the planner has performed and uh, that way we can make any changes before heading into the next crop that we're planting or uh, make changes uh, for next year and that way we get on a good start for the for the next year the next growing season so um, this drone really is that that 21st century technology that allows us to go and take uh, stand counts multiple stand counts throughout the field in an unbiased manner um, and gets a, a really good uh, wide angle view of the field and rather than me just going out there and doing a few rows at each spot that I go to this drone is able to capture multiple different rows um, across like a 50 by 50 or a 60 by 60 foot um, picture that it takes and it counts every single plant within that picture there and, and is able to calculate how many gaps are in the stands. Um, it also gives us a uniformity and uh, the total stand count as well. So right now the drone has just completed its mission in the field uh, where I set uh, in drone deploy the field boundaries and the grid size that I want. I could go down to a tenth of an acre all the way up to a a 10 acre grid and for this particular farm I did a three acre grid so every three acres I'm going to get a data point on how many and how, how much stand is out there how many uh, gaps I've got out there what the uniformity is looking like as well and then once it's done it's going to come right back home land for me and then at immediately as it lands I'm going to get a report of uh, what the total stands were out there at each waypoint or each spot in that field where that drone went and took a picture of so uh, right now it's starting to land, but um, it's a really great program, uh, very quick and easy to use, and it's so much more effective and much more unbiased data than us just going out there uh, with a tape, tape measure and uh, collecting stand counts the old-fashioned way. So now the drone has landed and I have a stand for each spot of the field where that uh, drone took a picture. Uh, this particular field I ranged from 23 and a half all the way down to 16.5 and what this software is able to do with drone deploy is you can click on each picture and it'll show the rows outlined in an orange um, lines there. That's the row identification that this software has capabilities of. And then you'll get a red dot on each plant. And that's really neat for just verifying to make sure we're, we're counting and the software is doing what it's supposed to do. We're not getting doubles or it's not counting plants or weeds that shouldn't be out there. But as you can see with this field, even with some decent residue out there, it was able to count and everything really well. And then uh, these yellow boxes that it outlined are any gaps that it finds. And I'm able to set that gap setting this particular farm and our row spacing and our uh, planting populations. I just use uh, 16 inches. But um, so each box is a representative of a gap of between corn plants of over 16 inches. And then in the summary down at the bottom, you can see the average spacing, 9.36 inches, and your plant gaps, about 1,300. So the summary here is it's above average uh, for the stand at this particular spot. Conversely, if I go to one of the worst spots in the field, 16.5, you can immediately see some of the reasons why that might be. I've got road tracks and, and just uh, tire and traffic patterns throughout this part of the field. And so um, up in the top right hand corner, uh, there's a little drier spot of the field and uh, you can really see there's a lot more gaps, but even when these traffic patterns are there, we're seeing some gaps uh, noted in the, that stand too. So it's all coming down to evaluating the reasons why. And uh, this software is really quick and easy. We can just point and click and really see what's going on right away uh, with our stand counts um, out in the field. Wouldn't catch this if we were just taking it from right here on the field edge. Probably would have just checked right in here where that 23.5 was. Thought, oh man, we've got a good stand, which it does definitely look good from the road. But with this software, taking multiple uh, stand counts uh, at the bird's eye view, unbiased, we're able to really uncover some reasons why uh, we may have some pitfalls here at harvest time. And uh, I take it a next step further and put that into my planning report card. What that planning report card does is it gives us a total net effective stand for what's out there. So if we have gaps or a lady merging plants um, in that stand, those are not beneficial to us. 
And so putting it in that planning report card gives us that net effective stand. So it gives us a dollar an acre improvement that we can have. And it really helps us quantify if we need to make changes. And um, if so, what would those changes be that get made? And how would those impact my bottom dollar? I uh, get a lot of good feedback from my customers. And one of the things we're doing this year um, and in future years is gonna be compiling those. And that way you can benchmark yourself on how you're comparing against other top producing uh, farmers in the area. And uh, if this is something that you would like to be done on your farm or on any of your fields, please let your Pioneer Sales Agronomist, uh, field agronomist know, or your uh, local Pioneer Sales Rep. We can get out there and do some stand counts on your fields. Thanks and have a great day.